In our previous videos, we had learned how to extract shoulder lines from satellite images and do a shoulder line change analysis with the help of DSAS. In today's video, we will learn how to create dimensions and graphs from that analysis. Open the attribute table of transact rates and add two new columns named latitude and longitude. Calculate the coordinates from Calculate Geometry option. Export this attribute table as an Excel file in your work folder. Open the Excel file and see all the data are written here. For zonations, I have added some points. These points would be some physical features or administrative boundary. Now, add a column named zonation in the Excel file and figure out the starting and ending transact number for each zone. Write the zone number in the Excel file by those transact numbers. After writing the zones, add two new columns named Erosion and Deposition in Excel. Write this formula for calculating erosion and deposition for each transact. Here I am using WLR value because of long term analysis. If you are doing short term analysis, then use NSF value. Create new sheets for each zone and copy the data for each zone separately. After that, we will calculate some statistics for each zone and total shoulder line change.
calculate the statistics for each zone. After calculating all zone statistics, write them in a new sheet with total shoulder line statistics. Go to the total shoulder line change page and select erosion and deposition columns. Go to insert and create a 2D bar graph. Copy this graph and paste it in a new page. Customize this graph according to you. Create this type of graphs for each zone.